We're testing out the DJI Air 3S and specifically we're seeing how well it can perform in a low light situation like this. I'm getting it to track me around this area. I've got an active track 360. I've been playing around in the auto mode as well as just using it with tracking from behind to make sure that the LiDAR sensor is facing towards the obstacles. And the idea is that regardless of how low light the situation is, the drone should still be able to handle any situation. So really, really interested to see how this goes. So let's put it straight into the focus track mode. We're gonna put it into active track 360 and go straight into auto. So it's got a little bit of distance from me here. You can see a very low light scenario. The sun is going to set anytime soon. The drone seems to be keeping a little bit of distance here as it's doing its active track. So it's in auto mode, so it's just going to kind of do what it thinks is best, right? It's literally in auto mode, so it's going to do <laughs> automatic kind of maneuvers as it sees fit. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It was a little bit further away before. It seems to be dynamically moving around all of the obstacles. Oh, wow, that was cool. That was really cool how it did that. So it is performing so far as you would expect from a DJI drone. I'm just gonna start recording as well from the drone itself, just to give us some higher quality video as we're doing this. So the sun is about to go down. I think we've probably got, I don't know, maybe six minutes or so until the sun is completely down. Right now you can see it is a very low light scenario and with any other drone, I don't think I would do this. I don't think I would be confident enough but we've got the LiDAR sensor at the front and we have got the infrared sensors underneath. We've also got obstacle avoidance, omnidirectional obstacle avoidance. So I can hear it beeping away. It's picking up on all of the trees that are in the area and it seems to fly a little bit differently. So it seems to fly more on the, a side kind of angle as I'm going between these trees. Uh, this is my go-to spot. So, I mean, I'm, I'm used to how drones navigate this area and it seems to have some unique kind of movements which is cool here it's doing a really good job as every minute goes by the light is going away more and more and more seems to be doing a good job of um doing what it can with the light though i'm using the one inch sensor so i'm just using that one times i'm not going into the three times so it's using the one inch sensor which means it has a better aperture in a low light situation, plus it is a one inch sensor, so a larger sensor, allowing more light in. Um, so for me, that makes the most sense to use uh, that one for the video. And then obviously all the other stuff, the omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, the LiDAR sensor, all of that's doing its thing as, um, as I'm walking. Oh, it's such a quiet drone as well. Like such a quiet drone, I love it. Yeah, this is very cool. <laughs> Very impressive here. All right, let's go a little bit further up here. It, um, it isn't completely dark just yet, but you can see extremely low light. Very, very low light scenario. I'm just gonna dart between these trees. See what it does as we go between some tighter trees here. Oh, it's very confident the way it darts. Loving this. This is phenomenal here. <laughs> and we're at that golden hour. You can see uh, even on the trees, we get into that golden hour. The sunset is in the distance behind us. And the thing that's really cool about this type of technology is a lot of people use their drones for sunsets. So in this kind of situation where I'm wanting it to track me, it's perfect because the light's going down, but I can still be confident knowing that the drone is going to continue Oh, wow, that was very interesting how it did that. Um, yeah, the drone is continuing to, to follow me regardless of the lighting condition here. And this LiDAR sensor still operates even if you put it into return to home. So again, in the scenario where you've got a sunset and it's really low light, um, the drone is going to return back to you and it's basically going to use that sensor to ensure that it doesn't hit any trees or buildings as it's returning back to you. So it's basically a safety measure, but it also just adds more functionality for this type of scenario. Like you can see as the minutes go by and as the sun disappears, disappears more and more and more, the drone is getting less visibility, but that LiDAR sensor does not seem to have any issues. I'm gonna to walk towards it here, see what it tries to do. Oh, it's very confident. <laughs> kind of scary how confident it is. 
And so what I can see, oh wow, look at it go. From what I can see is um, basically the whole way, oh my goodness, what is it doing? <laughs> very, very interesting. So yeah, sorry, I'm trying to focus on the drone as well as talking. Um, from what I can see, the, the idea of the LiDAR sensor is that it can pick up on obstacles uh, in terms of the light that is being passed through the sensor, through the LiDAR sensor. So a candle light from a meter away is what it can pick up on. So something as dim as that, you gotta remember like these sensors previously could not do anything close to that. And so a LiDAR sensor on the Air 3S can pick up candle light a meter away, which is extremely impressive. That just means that you can have that extra confidence to know that it's gonna do the job, right? Regardless of the lighting condition. I'm just now going to take it off auto. Yeah, we'll get it to follow from behind purely because then the sensor is facing forward. And we'll just start to walk a little bit denser into these trees here. Again, the light is going as the time goes. And again, I would not be testing this with any other drone uh, because the obstacle avoidance sensors, you know, if that's all you've got, you don't have the LiDAR sensor, they might struggle a little bit. But in this kind of scenario here, we can be pretty confident that the drone's gonna do exactly what we need it to do. It has not skipped a beat. It's done some very confident maneuvers, which is always worrying to watch. <laughs> you just uh, have to trust it, I guess, but look how impressive this is. If you are interested in the DJI Air 3S or any other drone for that matter, and you're based in Australia, make sure to check those links down below. You can use the code DANGETUBE over on DJI Australia's website, which is d1store.com.au. And for my international viewers, I'll have some other links down there. So make sure to check all of those out. So you can see that as the sun is disappearing more and more, the drone is still very competent in this type of environment. It's picking up on all the trees around it, and it's really just not skipping a beat at all doing a phenomenal job. I can see the sun is almost gone in the distance. You can see we really don't have too much light here and it's still not struggling at all with all of these obstacles in the way. It's continuing to follow me, continuing to dart around. And uh, it is a confident drone, very confident drone as it's doing all of these maneuvers. So for the final part of the test here, I'm using the 70 millimeter camera system, which is that zoom lens. And we're just gonna see how it goes when it's using that different perspective. The camera looks great still, considering it's uh, obviously not letting in as much light. It has a different aperture and it's also not a one inch sensor. It's a one over 1 1.3 inch sensor. So considering that, it's still doing a great job of uh, capturing some nice clean footage here. But again, the LiDAR sensor is still gonna be working in this situation. I'm noticing that the drone's actually staying a little bit further back, which makes sense because it's using a 70 millimeter um, zoom lens basically. So that's interesting to see that it's keeping some distance there. Oh, it's just so confident between the trees. It's crazy to watch. All right, let's go between these trees. And this also gives such a cool, like, compressed look to the video as well because it's zoomed right in. It's creating some layers between the trees, and the drone's still doing its usual thing. It's still flying very similar to what it was flying before. I was wondering if it was going to change its flight path. Uh, it's definitely keeping a little bit further back, but it's still extremely confident. Has not skipped a beat at all. Nearly lost all the light. This LiDAR sensor is very impressive and huge peace of mind for people who are flying later into the day and they want to get those sunsets, especially if you want to track something, right? You might be tracking a boat or a car or a person. Uh, just having the confidence, knowing that the drone is able to actually pick up on obstacles in its environment. You've got the LiDAR sensor at the front. So the main focus is that the drone is obviously trying to maneuver so that it can detect all the obstacles and still be frontward facing to be able to see anything that's in front of it. And that's the same when it's doing its return to home. That LiDAR sensor is still going to be doing its thing, making sure that it's picking up on anything in its environment as it's flying back to you. So we've gone back to the one inch sensor now. And I think we can confidently say that this is the best DJI drone when it comes to obstacle avoidance, <laughs> especially in a low light scenario. Like it's kind of getting creepy in here now. It's getting a little darker. I'm the only person in this area here with all these trees. And you can see there's still a little bit of that golden shimmer, um, but the sun is pretty much almost gone at this point. 
I don't want to push it to the point that there's no sun at all because the drone is doing a very good job and I think we can confidently say that this is the type of scenario like this is when you would be flying back you've already got all of those sunset shots you're happy with what you've done you wouldn't really want to be filming too much more or getting too many photos beyond this point because the sun is pretty much gone at this stage we're just kind of getting that final glow as the sun is just about to disappear and the drone is doing exactly what it's advertised to do <laughs> so you can see how dark it is out here now almost unusable footage at this point but you can see that the lidar sensor is still confidently able to navigate around these trees the obstacle avoidance is doing a really good job and the drone is still very confident it doesn't seem to change how it's flying it seems to know that it can handle this kind of scenario if we had lots of tiny branches little twigs coming off these trees it could be a completely different story it might not pick up on those kind of details but for trees like this that are tall thin and long and there aren't any you know low hanging branches or anything like that it seems to be completely fine and still it's just confidently darting between these trees let's just go up here i think i'm uh, pretty happy with this test at this point now i'm actually very happy with this test what am i saying <laughs> I was nervous to come out here and see how it perform in a low light situation, but um, yeah, you can see. It's saying strong environmental interference. So it is giving us a little bit of a warning here. So obviously there would be a point where it's not safe to do this anymore. And we're probably getting very close to that right now. Final little part over here, we'll walk through here. You can see it's very dark at this point. And at any point it could pick up on a tree, I look very similar to a tree. <laughs> you could think that it's trying to track me, but no, it still knows that I'm the person and these are the trees. And yeah, let me know your thoughts. I'd love your thoughts on how you think this performed in this low light situation. I would definitely not test this with any other drone. It is very confident and the obstacle avoidance sensors are still doing an amazing job considering that, you know, there's again, not too much light here. The Air 3S is an extremely impressive drone. Look at this, how cool is this? Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. Appreciate all of your support and I'll chat to you in the next one. Peace.